Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at the topic energy changes in physical and chemical processes and our subtopic for today is board breaking and board formation. So basically we are going to be looking at what happens when boards are broken, what happens when boards are formed and then we'll do a few questions. So physical processes usually involve heating and cooling. So boards are broken and then new ones are formed. So during board breaking and board formation, energy is involved. So an example of a heating and cooling process is when when you move from solid to liquid, we know we are heating. Liquid to evaporation, we continue heating. Gas to liquid, we condense. Liquid to solid, we continue condensing. So for a board to be broken, energy is required. So we need to absorb energy. So that's the reason why it's an endothermic process. So their values are positive. The energy absorbed during board breaking is lost during board formation. So whatever energy that you absorbed when you are breaking boards, when they are forming new words, those energy is given off. So we refer to that as an exothermic process and the values are negative. When a substance melts or burns, energy is absorbed by the particles. Interparticle forces are broken and the process of breaking interparticle forces requires energy. So when we are cooling, condensing and freezing is taking place, energy is released. So for board breaking where solids, liquids and gases are forming, we, it's an endothermic process. But the opposite reaction where cooling is taking place, where new bonds are forming, energy is released. So it's exothermic processes. So the amount of heat required to convert a given amount of solid substance into its melting point is refers to as the latent heat of fusion. And then the amount of heat energy to convert one mole now of a solid substance into a liquid is called the molar latent heat of fusion or, la or molar heat of fusion. Make sure you note these definitions. And then the amount of heat energy absorbed when a given amount of substance is converted from a liquid state to a gaseous state is called now the latent heat of vaporization. If it's one mole of that liquid, we refer to as molar heat of vaporization. And then entropy of atomization, we are going to hear this. This is the energy absorbed when a substance decomposes from one mole of its gaseous atoms. We say that when electrons are lost from an atom, they form ions, gaseous ions. So when gaseous atoms are formed, so for example, if we move from hydrogen molecule to hydrogen atom, so the entropy change there is what we refer to as atomization. So when we are calculating the heat of solution, it's usually bro, refer, the formula is board breaking plus board formation. So board breaking is endothermic, board formation is exothermic. So board energies, there are some board energies for each particular kind of board. So for example, as you can see, you always be given. So note that there are, when you have the, the double board and single boards, this is a common misconception. You need to ensure that you write the correct formula or you get the correct number of boards or a compound. So let's take an example of some questions that will help us to understand. So remember the formula, so heat of a reaction is going to be board breaking plus board formation. Let's keep that in, by, in mind. So use the board energies given below to calculate the heat of reaction for hydrogen reacting with chlorine to form hydrochloric gas. So you've been given already the board energy. So the first thing we open up so that you can see the type of boards that are boarding this element. So hydrogen is boarded with single board to form chlorine, which is boarded with single board to form two hydrogen chloride boarded with single board. So on the reactant, that's where board are breaking. 
and then the products that's where the boards are formed so when you come to board breaking let's calculate the energy so this is board energies which is 435 plus 4 chlorine is 243 which gives us a total of 678 and remember this is kilojoules per mole and board breaking is an endothermic reaction so it is positive board formation we have two atoms of two molecules of hcl so hcl is 431 and there are two of them which gives us 862 kilojoules per mole remember board formation is exothermic so negative so we have board formation positive 678 kilojoules per mole and board formation we have negative 862 kilojoules per mole so the formula is board breaking plus board formation so let's put that down so board breaking is positive 678 plus board formation which is negative 862 this will give us negative 184 kilojoules per mole so the final reaction is actually exothermic let's do another question so study the information given in the table below and answer the questions that follow so you've been given the board energies and the equation so we open up the equation so this is going to be hydrogen 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 plus chlorine chlorine and then for the product is going to be hydrogen 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 and chlorine plus hydrogen and chlorine so this forms the board breaking and this one is the board formation let's get the values now so we have carbon hydrogen which is 414 but there are four of them so it is going to be 4 times 4 14 plus the chlorine is just one so before before i continue always make sure that the equation is balanced especially when you have been to try the equation from scratch but most of the time the equations you have been given are always balanced so chlorine chlorine is 244 so this gives us a total of 1900 remember these are board breaking so their values are positive because they are in exotherm endothermic so this is kilojoules per mole and then board formation this chlorine is bonded to three hydrogens so ch which is 414 times three first and then we have carbon chlorine board so plus 326 and we have hydrogen chloride which is 431 which gives us a total of Nine one thousand nine hundred and ninety nine kilojoules per mole, and remember these values are negative since they're exothermic. So the formula is board breaking plus board formation. So this is the same as positive nineteen hundred to bracket plus minus nineteen one thousand nine hundred ninety nine, which gives us negative 99 kilojoules per mole so this reaction is exothermic so that brings us to the end of board breaking board formation so different uh, books will come with different ways but you notice that the formula will always be the same board breaking plus board formation the key thing that you need to note with this calculations is getting the correct board if you are not able to open up your uh, 
uh, structure. It can be a molecule, it can be uh, a solid, depending how it looks like. If you're not able to identify the boats boarding in that compound, then that's going to be an issue. So there are some boats that form a triple board. For example, if you had a nitrogen atom molecule, you'd form three boards. And then we also know like carbon four oxide is going to form two boards, both sides with oxygen, but carbon monoxide is going to be three boards. You see, now you need to be able to remember that carbon four oxide and carbon monoxide looks different so that you don't end up using the energy for carbon oxygen boarding and carbon oxygen for carbon monoxide boarding. So in those cases, you need to see the, those um, differences in their boarding. Open up your structures if you can so that you can see how the boards are arranged and do it slowly so that you do not make a mistake. This is one of the concepts that there's a lot of mistakes with the multiplication and addition. So make sure you do your work slowly. So that's it for today. So see you in the next lesson as we continue with uh, this topic.